Hello YouTubes, yes, we are continuing, the salt mines continue a few minutes later. Oh yes, it occurs to me that if, uh, well, that's the uh, wonder of EU4. It makes you want to either kill yourself or quit the game and murder its creator, at least once every campaign. It's just how this goes. Unfortunately, well, not unfor unfortunately for the Ottomans rather, uh, we are about to get our uh, Prussian Space Marines. And by that I mean the bullshit combo. And, um, yeah, they did take the thing. Kiev is gonna suicide trying to take it back. I'm okay with that. Let them suicide themselves. Fuck that little bitch. Let him hurt himself. Let him become weak. Because, damn him, he needs to die in a fire. As well, fuck Muscovy. There we go. That's the idea combo that we wanted. Now then, observe as we are about to win the war. Infantry combat ability, plus 20%. March to Minsk. We're gonna sit next to them and be ready to engage in a moment. Actually, no, belay that. March down in this direction. We're gonna try and catch this little shit on his own. They might retake Minsk, take Kiev. You know what? Let Kiev burn! Who cares? Fuck that little bastard. Meanwhile, these are reinforcing, that is great. Cavalry got hurt the worst, but they'll get over it. It's fine. What kind of advisors do we have? We have a morale guy right now. I'll take the discipline, thank you very much. And if I have to take a loan or maybe to, you know, I... I am willing to make this sacrifice for the good of the nation. I mean, loans are annoying as fuck, but... Even so, they have their uses. They do have their uses. So, oh no, I'll take the prestige, thank you. So they have taken a few forts. I would like them to spread out a smidgen more and then pick off the uh, most vulnerable one. I'd rather not fight in the plains, I would rather be in a... Hmm... Okay... Well, Ancient Wisdom says... If your infantry doth wreck face... Build more! So, let's widen our front line so we don't get flanked like last time. Oh, yes, please. I'll take that. Hello! I'm the Teutons. You know, this is probably spread out enough. I would risk going after the 30 stack. At this point. And... We are gonna just swarm in with everyone. Simply cause that's the way we roll. Look at them take their freaking losses. Ouch, by the way. We are taking some losses as well in the process, but... Boom, bitch. And that's the way you do it. Should have con shift consolidated, but fuck it. Okay, okay, I understand your reluctance to die, I was kind of weak then. Let me just retreat a couple provinces over and we can renegotiate our uh, relative positions. I, I'm, I'm happy about this idea. I hope you're happy about it as well. Yeah, let's renegotiate that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's essentially a 36 stack. Yeah, Kiev will resiege their own trap. That's fine. That doesn't bother me. And really, they can die in a fire for all I care, stupid fucking vassal. Diplo insult on Poland? Yeah, fuck them. Speaking of, what does the coalition look like? Poland might eventually be 
reach the point where they can't rejoin it. They are 28 points away from that point and... Well, hello there. Um, I might want to join in on that if I can make it down there quickly enough. Okay, excellent. That got converted. That's great. Get started on Minsk, because that is a lot faster too. Tentatively, I could just kill this on... No, 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 no. Let's... Let's chill. It occurs to me that if I was to take Bratislav, they might be unable to retreat to their own territory due to the fort zone of control bullshit. And that would make me very happy. Which is why we're gonna sit on that. And, uh, yeah, prevent any real retreat. Oh, Are you sad now, Ottomans? I, I feel like you're sad. I hope you're sad. You deserve to be sad, you bastards. No, 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 no. This... This one. There we go. Sooner or later, someone will redeck them. Oh look, they are uh, down to a third of their man of the manpower they had at the start of the war. Someone has been chewing through that, it seems. Who could that be? Also, fuck you, fuck you, and just fuck you, Ottomans. Yes, let them march eastwards. I'm just gonna block them from getting back. Um, win it. Stop rolling zeros, you fool! Well, that is bullshit. I have a feeling like they're gonna win this. Maybe, yeah. Shit. Well, that's just wrong. Let's retreat before we lose any actual cannons. Oh, God damn it, my fucking vassals. This is just bullshit the way they're able to do that. Come on! Like, come the fuck on! I mean, seriously. You know what I could do? I could just let one of, you know... Yeah, I could let one of those fuckers go. I mean, I really don't want to, actually. No, that's a bad idea. Let's not. Why is this, like, green? Because it's occupied? Oh, right. That bullshit. Okay, this time, let's recover properly and then fight. Because, yeah, that was just crap. That was just crap. I mean, come on. What the fuck do you even have that makes you so strong, you bastard? Ottoman ideas, what do they give you? What is the crap that makes you so fucking dangerous? Cav combat and discipline. Apparently. Interesting. Do we get a lot of war exhaustion? No. We are able to, you know, offset it with our ideas. Or rather, yeah, with our ideas. So that's supposedly okay. We need to essentially find a year's worth of time somewhere to recover properly. Once we get this mega stack properly established, we should be okay. So, let's uh, sit in Mita on Golding and we can sweep southwards when we're good and ready. Okay. I think they just took something from Novgorod, maybe? Or they have gotten even weaker. Hmm. When is our truce with this fucker up? Sport independence, asshole. God damn it, I hope you die in a fire. And yes, we're gonna take quite a few loans here.
Okay, that is starting to look more like it. And you should have a leader of your own of some kind. There you go. In fact, no, let's let's use the two siege guy. And you know what? Let's let's move to a position where we could Of course he would take it just then. Why wouldn't he? Why the frack wouldn't he, right? Let's sit on top of that right away. Let's see if we can re take it, cause... Where the fuck are you going? Why are you going to engage him, you fool? That's a bad engagement. Oh yeah, we do need a war score. Because we're gonna start getting stab hitting peace deals in a moment if we don't retake something. Especially seeing as that fool just lost... A fucking battle. That is fucking amazing. I mean, that's just fucking perfect. Okay, leave your cannons and move the rest of your crap off to limit attrition a little bit. Never mind, we have incoming, apparently. With all of them. Great. And apparently we can win this one. Weird. Maybe if you stop rolling zeros. Okay, there we go. We are above the minimum. We are good. Excellent, I suppose. Uh, sure, uh, I'll take that. Um, thank you, game. Um, sure. This game is bullshit. Lucky Nations needs nerf. And yeah, you just lose all your troops and die in a fire, Kiev. I, I don't even care. Just fuck you. Okay. Don't want to bring any more off of there because then it will suck. Lucky Nations are always on when you play Iron Man because fuck you, essentially. There we go, that's been retaken. We're still above 50, it's okay. We'll, yeah, we'll maintain control of Grod now because we kind of need that fort to be under our side's control. And yes, he can sort of at, uh, actually access the heartlands. Okay, guess we're gonna fight there. I guess we need shift consolidate in that case. And murder the fuck out of him if we can. Because, well, let's be honest. We, yeah, just get rid of him. Reinforcement speed starts to matter a great deal in this, by the way. Spanish Square, that's a tactics level. I don't care, I'm taking it. I could really use the advantages. We're retreating to the capital. Yeah, that's because they're morons. Honestly, don't need nerfing. Yeah, right. I'm gonna change my unit type. That's why I'm retreating, by the way, to change my unit type. We're gonna go with free shooters. And... Um, are you kidding me? You have a truce with me. That is bullshit. God damn it, you bastards. I mean, let's be fair. This fucker just... Hell, he still hasn't caught everything even. Yeah, he will keep Grodno. I will not... You know, I'll let him keep that. I'll make sure he keeps that. I'll make sure he remains in control that I can't have that taken. But, yeah. Okay, that's the Norway guy. And no, we cannot lose for defensiveness or any related types of crap. Um... Admin power, I guess.
Alright, that is happily taking against us. That's great. They're heading south. That is a great opportunity for us to strike here, I think. Yeah, I think we kind of have to. Do we have some near full strength? Yes, we do. That's okay, then. Yes, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. Murder the fuck out of them. Excellent. See? I fixed it, mom. I fixed it. They're gone. Fuckers. How's the, uh, from battles thing? Yeah, not great. How's the war exhaustion? It is sticking upwards because I have lost more forts. Which one of you was a fort? You were. What's the terrain like? Farmlands. Oi. Not great. Don't care about Kiev, I care about my own forts more. Cause, uh, and you can quote me on this, fuck Kiev essentially. I will, however, go and try to intercept that army. Speaking of, Ottomans, yes, they are out of manpower. They have a few, mer very few mercs. They haven't started properly merking up yet. But they are out of manpower. This crap, it does not reinforce anymore. Oh, that is freaking perfect. And he's going to Grodno. Yeah. You know what? I approve of this idea of going to Grodno. Please go to Grodno. That is freaking perfect. Pew pew, bitch. This. When I run out of manpower and start to really suffer, and we start getting, you know, the occasional stack wipe, this is when the war turns. <laughs> this is when we start to actually get some sort of a... Uh, advantage, yes, and that was uh, someone SMSing me to remember to feed the cats, which I did. So, it's all okay. Oh, you're gonna go in that journal there. Oh, you're gonna go there with, like, everything. Well, fuck Kiev then. So what should I take from these fucks? Should I make them release Moldavia, perhaps? I liked having Moldavia, you know, be a thing. Moldavia was a thing. It was nice when Moldavia was a thing. Maybe you should have Moldavia be a thing again. And you know, up here, I like the idea of using that one fort that Kiev still has as bait to farm, like, a battle score. You know? I think that's okay. Oh, look, we've taken another loan. Great. And that's a lot of frontline they have. I'm still gonna risk it, because I'm, you know, stupid that way, but... And because I think I can pull off this, essentially. Okay, shift consolidate, come at me, bitch. Oh, yeah, cause fuck me, right? He just auto disbanded the Merc regiments instead of reinforcing them. Just bullshit. So, auto derps. How's that feeling? Oh yeah, he's marking up hard, he's running out of troops too. Meh, <laughs> fucker. That's right, bitch. You're starting to lose. We just need to retake one fort to start our war exhaustion ticking downwards. And actually, we have extra diplo points. Or at least a few we can spare. Let's, uh, let's spend those. Shall we? Oh, I'm bringing that down a smidgen. Oh, look, 0% right to where you start. Perfect. That will do nicely. Yes, Ottomans, yes. This is how it turns. I have the uh, Prussian Space Marine hacks enabled, and you don't. Boop. Holding up the middle finger at the screen. So mature. Let's just sit in there in case they want to, you know, do a thing. Oh, hey, I can keep all my troops on there, apparently. Let's try that. Yeah, mostly this is coming from Kiev's forts, I think. In fact, I'm pretty sure, though they have siege two of mine. 
Kiev will handle their own shit, they'll eventually rebuild their armies, but until they do, essentially, uh... Fuck them! They want to be independent, they can have a taste of what it feels like. To, you know, deal with crap on their own. I'm not gonna help them, fuck no. In fact, all these vassals have been such a pain in my dick that I'm really just... You know, I just... just know. Just know. Okay, they have a leader. I wonder if he is, you know, an actual leader leader, as in an explorer. Well, that's interesting. Let's put a guy on Pinsk. Oh, look, a missionary strength guy. That is great. Okay, incoming stack. Suddenly they have a real stack around here. That's not great. They might decide to come and fight me. That would be inconvenient, what with me having almost taken that. Actually, taking that would be a significant win. Come on! For fuck's sake! Apparently we have the force limit to just sit on there and slowly reinforce, but Jesus Christ, is that taking forever. And where the frack are all my mercs going? Stupid freaking... Gods, I hate that all of this band bullshit. Four empty regiments that sometimes kick in, kicks in stupidly like that, it just... I shift consolidated them, but apparently it was just in time for the after battle check for do I need to disband these lol to kick in, so I get screwed. Essentially. Yep. Yep. I uh, I just snacked on that. What you gonna do about it? You gonna come and play? You can come and play, I don't mind. Minus two. In theory I should win this. Because I have the Space Marines and he doesn't. There you go. Eat Space Marine. A Space Marine sandwich, in fact. Renewed alone. Well, it's not like I'm actually surprised or anything. Wow, that's... Apparently we're getting attritioned. Great. Because, you know, swamps and the like. Oh, look, you're at war with Hungary, isn't that fucking precious? You can rip each other's throats out, that's fine. That is, in fact, great. Oh, and Austria is in on that. I think I can live with that. I think I can actually live with that. You know, that, that's fine. Oh, holy crap, the Ottomans are gonna win that, I think. Maybe. It's close. No, 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 little space marine. Don't go in there. Yeah, they're gonna win that. Okay, so, um, Ottomans, when would I be there? Sixth? It would be truly sad if someone was to swoop in now and, you know, hurt you now that you've been weakened or something. I mean, that would be a truly barbaric thing for someone to do, I would say. I do hope nobody does that. Also, suck it, bitch. So, if we take those two forts in the south and the war goal, then we will be in a relatively good position. We are winning in terms of battles, we just these fucking occupations that are screwing with me. So, that's okay, we can, we can work this. We can actually work this. And this has a actually pretty decent supply limit. Perfect. Perfect, that will do nicely. Okay. We'll take the cannons and half our crap and just go to Podole. Because I don't want to risk... I don't want to split my force in half and siege both. But I do want to siege them one at a time. 20 army tradition, is that worth the cash expenditure? Ah uh, yes, even with the loan. 
the ability to generate just a couple of generals with like truly mega stats like 1541 or 4332 both of which are non horrible Yes, 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 yes. This will do nicely. We start, of course, at zero for his, for this. And that is perfectly fine by me. <laughs> oh, he wants peace now! <laughs> um, okay. Uh, let me explain this to you in terms you will understand, you AI fuck. The Teutonic Order is making gains plus 100 okay i'm 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 glad you understand i'm glad you fucking understand you asshole also suddenly ottoman stack how's the supply limit on this ah, kind of meh actually could be better could be worse But he is retreating to here. I think he's gonna try and hold at that fort or something. Or maybe he's getting attacks in this side, like from Vidin. Nope, he is a coming. Okay, perfect. In that case, we reinforce. I am definitely up for tussle here. If he wants one, I will happily give him one. Okay, orthodox zealots there are kind of really bad news. We... We don't need that crap there. Come on, just die, you bastards. Oh, look, Austria help. Thanks, Austria. Hi, thanks. No, seriously, Orthodox Zealots taking that over is bad, 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 bad. So bad. Okay. Disease outbreak. Well, that's great. Great. Um, let's take that. We are losing war exhaustion, which is great. That will help. We might not sit in this war for too long. We might just take the war goal. Speaking of, can I get to it? No. I would have to retake the actual fort there. Okay. And... Uh, I really think that I should just make the effort to sweep these, like really quickly before this devolves into a real problem. Yeah, I really think I should do that. Yeah. And you are spreading Catholic, man, that's fine. I'm sure you'll manage at that. Okay, um... Right. Crap, crap, crap. He's training troops again to try and retake his crap. That's great. We love that, obviously. This might actually be the time when Europe starts to dismantle the Ottomans a little bit. Because, apparently, I just uh, took one for the team. Apparently, I've just taken one for the team. Like, really hard, in fact. When's our truce with you up? Uh, December next year. Year and a half left. Well, that's not exactly great. Oh, great. Fuck. Just what we wanted. Nationalists. Your war exhaustion must be through the roof, little guy. Yep, it's maxed. Great. Okay. Yeah, the game would consider this the time to peace out, generally speaking, just cause... Well, that's what the AI would consider reasonable. That's why he's sending me peace deals, by the way, I think, cause... Well, by all... According to him, I should be wanting to peace out by now, because my country is in a, is in the shitter. 
and I'm taking quite a few loans as well. Little does he know that I care little for the well-being of my own country. As long as I can murder his. Oh wait, that's being retaken by Fort. That's okay then. That is freaking okay. Okay, that can't be touched by the Hungarians and Austrians though, which is fine by me. How's your war exhaustion? 3.9. So not that high, is what you're saying. Alright, and... Okay, just start by sending the cannons ahead. However dangerous and stupid that might be, we're gonna do it anyway. Because we kind of... Well, we're gonna take a tick of attrition anyway. Seriously? More of this... Come on! Jesus freaking Christ. Go sweep through that like really quickly. The like Austrians and crap should just prevent this from going all to hell. Who do you belong to? Just some random little nation? Great. Isn't that precious? Isn't that freaking precious? Just kill them, will you? Is this being sieged? Yes, by Austria. Great. Perfect. And of course, that's gonna give them separatism and all kinds of troubles. So, yeah, it's, it's all good. Honest. They have actually caught everything except for Bryansk, which is non-horrible. Yes, yes, let's just increase taxes and whatever, prestige is nice. You know what? Let's be smart and disband some of the mercs. I don't think we need quite all of them anymore. Hell, we can even consolidate the rest. You go there, you'll retake that first and then we'll make that a thing. Okay, that is already breached. Excellent. We like breaches. Breaches are fun, huh? Just need to ju just take this, then go take the fort, and then, then we'll see about what we want to do for peace. A lot of things are occupied by the Ottomans, but, and that's giving them a lot of uh, war score. What I could do... What I could do is... Yeah, let's incidentally finish converting Novgorod. I could just retake those. Like, I could just now go take the war goal and just uh, start taking the uh, proper, you know, back the uh, forts they control. Might as well start this uh, ticking in my favor as soon as uh, possible. The Ottomans are boned anyway, I think. With this many people against them, they will eventually just implode and die. So that should be okay. What do I want from here? Humiliate would be nice. Get our power projection up for a while. Humiliate wouldn't be bad, actually, now that I think about it. Counter-Reformation. Missionary strength versus heretics. Deck and idea cost goes up. Papal fucking relations. Yeah, no, goodbye. That does make an insane amount of sense, actually. And they actually dropped off of that fort. Why, I do not know, but they did. Let's at least try to siege it. They're offering me a white piece now. I think they've realized that they're boned. Okay, you are no longer as butthurt. Why, are fewer people, like, supporting your independence? No, Hungary still is. Yeah, you're still bros with them. Who supports you? 
No one. Right, right. So whoever was supporting Norway went away. Is that the case? Yeah, one of their allies just went away. Interesting. Better relations over time, you say? Ah, uh, yeah, cannons, 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 cannons. There are Ottoman troops there. Hungary is gonna lose the battle, and we are gonna be face to face with them. No! You fools! No! Retreat to there! Somehow they won, but god damn it, no, that was wrong! Why would you do that? Why would you do that? You fools! You've ruined everything! Fucking cannons! Dude, of course mercantilism is right. Of course it's freaking right. Okay, we are at like uh, 10 war score now. Soon we shall be able to demand things. Haha! <laughs> oh, look, we're at medium now, because. 25 making gains. Even the AI realizes that the Ottomans are in a bad position right now. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's march on top of that. Because I do want to take this. Right? Teodoro has civil war. I mean, Teodoro is imploding. Now, I don't think we have a truce with you, you bastard. I could go for something. I could just take, like... Oh, I don't know, like, Olenets and stuff along the north here and just court myself. I do have some admin points. And yes, I would be okay with going into another war with Muscovy right now. I would not consider that too dangerous. I have optimism. As long as I'm careful, I can probably manage it. See, I've already ticked down from 5.5. Uh, .5. Some. As long as my own forts don't get sieged, I will be okay. Optimism is so good at offsetting that crap. Do have the missionaries now. I don't need to vassal convert, right? So I think at this point it is a matter of just uh, starting to uh, expand. I honestly think that uh, that makes a lot of sense. That I just start expanding into Russia, start taking actual land from them. At least some of the uh, lower, you know, dangerous ideas are spreading. Oh, Fuck you, game! At least have the decency to call Comet a Comet! Dude! Fuck darts, come on! Okay, um... Yeah, um, I want to humiliate. Okay, those truces are gone, but they won't be able to rejoin, I think. Poland is our truce with actual Poland over this month. Okay. I think I need to declare now. Yeah, I really think I need to declare now. And you know what? You know what, the Ottomans? Sure. Let's just hurt you financially. Let me take all of your cash. Okay. Gains loyalty and influence. Or lose loyalty and influence. Either way, I'm kind of boned, is what you're saying. So support. Right. So essentially I'm boned. That gives them influence. You know what? If I'm gonna lose all that, then... <laughs> Why the fuck not do it this way and just get some points for it at least? And then we'll take modern theocracy in order to be able to take the Diplo ideas. Which will give us, me a lot of interesting things. 
And then we can go and fight Muscovy. Before they're able to join the coalition and fuck us that way. Because you know they're just waiting for a chance. And then we'll take the northern uh, wastes, essentially. So, northwards do we march. Or, Tolerance of Heretics goes down. Yes. Yep, here we go, there's the coalition, once again. Okay, why don't we go deal with that? Actually, no, these are smaller stacks. Why don't we soup on those first? Triazian can wait for a few months, I think. Not that the food shortage helps, but you know. Oh, look, no leader, Stomp. Yeah, fighting Ottomans is a special case anyway. Disloyal fucking vassals. Okay. God damn it. Excuse me for... Welcome to Kitty Obsession, European Ursalis 4 edition. Cause apparently the saga of Are the kittens fed? continues. God damn it. Swedish separatists. Oi, Jesus Christ. Gah, get that off me. Fuck me, no. No, 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 no. That will not do at all. Jeez. Yuck. Riazen getting fucked. Do I care about them getting fucked? Well, they'll reset on the... Uh, uh, conversion, but... Oh, God damn it, they managed to siege a place. You fuckers. Oh. Damn it. Just die. I do have a fort in rage, right? Right, Lidgalen will cover it. Right down south to take care of that. So what I want to do is take these neat little, this neat little group of forts because I can uh, like handle all of them relatively easily because they're like right next to each other, right? And after that, I uh, I want to march up north and take the northern crap like Omogori and just take a bunch of land there, deny them sea access there, and that's more or less it. Now, if I was a generous god, I might be tempted to attack Teodoro and feed one more core, just one more. Oh, here, he came down here, right. To uh, Kiev in order to give them sea access so that they could have a fleet to help me with, but they're not going to be helping me anyway, and they can just get back to converting shit. Is that converting? Might be. Have you got another religious idea, by the way? Okay, he did, he did, let's see. Missionary strength versus heretics, he does have some of that naturally. That is good. What do what does religious give on the second one? Another missionary. So essentially double his conversion speed. Okay, I that's actually kind of good. For him to have, that is. That works out actually kind of okay. So Muscovy's army got shredded there, that's great. Okay, let's... First of all, let's retake Riazan's crap. Might as well return their core in this one. And yes, they have not managed to build up a proper garrison. Which actually gives me a... Uh, Really, really uh, good opportunity to retake it. Not so much in the percentages, though those being positive from the very start is very nice. But in terms of breaching the walls and just assaulting it down. That was not a walls breach. Game, you suck. 
And yes, these are still mad. Hmm. I should get rid of Kiev. He's a bit bigger than a vassal really should be. I do have a bit of gold. I guess I should repay at least one loan. Just to, you know... Oh, look! He's got separatists again! Sweet! Maybe this time they will actually free some of the Golden Horde. Ideally, I want his country covered in uh, separatists as I make peace and walk away with them just sieging everything. But, you know... He's actually using his vassal territory to recruit some armies, I think. Or something. Certainly doing something. He's building up some troops or trying to. Speaking of... Yeah, my vassal... Or sorry, my allies, rather, don't want in. Why are you so pissy? Because they want my provinces, eh? Holy crap, do we have a lot of favors built up. Um... All of the trust, please? Thank you? No, that's the wrong guy. Burgundy, yes. Again, up to 70. Wait. Oh, Burgundy. Are you dying? You attacked and you got cur murdered. Oh. Okay, I don't want to rush that way. Hmm. Okay, let's go for Kaluga and then Ryazan itself. Just to uh, sweep out some of these armies. And then we'll head to Moscow, actually. And here I might... Might split the troops up a little bit. You're uh, sieging Novgorod. What do I think of this idea? I I think that that is rude beyond belief. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a lot of separatists. Golden Horde doesn't have a, like a core on this, do they? No, they don't. Okay, so that's fine. Alright. And Novgorod thinks they have a shot at this. What is your total war score? Actually, I should be going in through Novgorod if they're in the coalition, if I decide to fight them. It's just Lithuania and Sweden, honestly. Poland hasn't joined. And they might not. Next year, they won't have enough... Uh, they won't have enough... Uh, you know, aggressive expansion with us anymore. Yeah, as I'm gonna stay away from this area in terms of aggressive expansion. No, Poland did join. But, I think that that won't matter. I could defeat those four powers together. Right, and nobody is supporting your... Who was supporting your independence? Because someone was supporting someone's independence. Yes, Hungary. So you'd have to deck Hungary. But, Hungary... Right, they have allies. They do not, however, have... That's great. 50 admin points or... I'll actually take the admin points, even though I kind of need could use the money as well. Because I will be uh, coring shit. Yeah, if I fought... Kiev as well, right? My, isn't that precious. Hungry dude, do we need to be enemies? Listen, I'll even remove you as a rival, okay? I mean, I... I honestly, I will, I just... Let's be friends, okay? I need to have a rival, you are there, and I just... Let's not be enemies anymore, okay? Let's be besties. I think he might have... Muscovy might have murdered Novgorod's army there and just started, you know... No, no, Novgorod is sieging Tver. Never mind. Yep, I can't go this way. 
I want to... What do I want to do here, actually? Yeah, fuck all of that. Let's siege our war goal, actually. Let's go up here. And, uh... Whatever, just take the devotion, as opposed to just spending stupidly. Like, right, clergy is butthurt, so we are losing points there. Oh well. Fuck him anyway. I could make a generous donation. Not much point, because they're butthurt. Like, really butthurt. And they do not have enough influence to be really useful. What about now? Okay, good. Good, good, good. This gives them even more influence. Do either of these? No. You know what, YOLO, fuck it. Apparently that's not enough to make them really, you know, awesome. Burgers don't want it cause they're burgers and they're just they're just full of suck that way. You know, whatever. Fine. What about Minsk? Do you want Minsk? I think they need to be at like uh seventy five to get like the top tier crap. Yep. Loyalty and... Perfect. I'll take the cash as well. Excellent. Now our treasury is recovering. Yes, the country needs money. Please contribute. <laughs> yeah, I can't really give anything more to our vassals. I really can't. I need to work on making this, you know. On fixing this. Which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it good. Right, you automatically got raised, because we're at war, yo! Yeah, no. Okay. Actually. Actually, I could use the fleet, and I should have supply, like, all the way around. So let's head on over here. And let's even send in a leader to help with the... Uh, Siegen. And put the other, like, four maneuver guy and whatever there. That'll be great. And yeah, let's let's just take the war goal for a start. Moscow is kind of dying in the south, and that's okay. I'm okay with them dying in the south. Hell, I'm even up to 17 war score based on battles alone. And that's counting the uh, negative ticks as well. So, yeah. So at a minus 14 from the start, that will go up as soon as the fleet actually arrives. All five heavies and six transports of them. Some fleet, huh? But hey. Okay, a general died. A, he was actually kind of a decent one. Let's hire another one. He's pretty okay too. Okay, Wolinian Separatists. Ugh. Jeez. Where the frack is this coming from? Controlled by clergy, right. You know, that's gonna be a bullshit thing for a while, so why don't we just increase some autonomy just to... Because... I, I can't deal with this crap. I need to... I need folks on other things. So, yes. Yes. I can't afford to commit the troops to you, so we're just gonna give you the autonomy. Finmark. That should take me to the provinces. I mean, come on. Here. There you go. I fixed it. 
And here comes the glorious uh, Teutonic Navy. Yay! So you're sitting across here and just trying to look like scary or something. How's Tver? Is that gonna fall? I mean, Novgorod might maybe take things in this war if I'm good at uh, murdering uh, Muscovy's forces. Maybe. Yeah, the last 20 years have been kind of a standstill with us getting repeatedly kicked in our teeth. Mostly because of our vassals putting us in position where we felt the need, not necessarily had the need, but felt the need to start shit. And starting a war with Hungary at this point might be useful, maybe. Alternatively, we could start improving with them and remove the rivalry. I feel like I am gonna try that. I might still declare on them. I don't know, but... I might declare on them and humiliate them if I can. But either way, I am gonna improve relations. As well as improving them with all my vassals. Could use a uh, successful siege there, in all honesty. Because that is the war goal. And that's a nice stack of rebels. That is exactly the kind of uh, initiative we're looking for. Rebels. I have a feeling that Novgorod will die there. I mean, he's gonna try. He's really gonna try. But unless I come down there and murder Muscovy's army, he's gonna die. I do, however, think that that is a relatively decent thing for us to do to help him not die because if he takes crap in this war that will help us as well very much so in fact okay and that's against the polish right so i do have a reason to declare on the coalition right after this who's your ally brandenburg and austria Well, we will decide what to do there after the war. I'm still thinking Novgorod is our best way into the coalition. But if our allies join, maybe if I chain into the war with Hungary somehow. But no, I, th I think that is an unreasonable way of doing things. You know, you Novgorod were stupid enough to actually attack into that. That's fine. Okay, air needed. Sure, let's go with him. 544, four. good choice. Mm hmm. Yes, we will want our uh, course back, obviously. And here, what pray tell do we do? Why, we march on the capital, I think. We march on the freaking capital. That, I think, is what we do. Have you managed to convert your own province yet? Still no. You know, that's great. I love that you have been completely unable to do that. That makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. Seriously, going into their lands and actually fighting there exiled us, even though we have access. You fucking serious game. Come the fuck on. I could take the next stack. I could. Okay, and that's their navy being forced out. Which looks like is just gonna die to our heavy ships. I think... Okay, Poland has 16k troops. Lithuania, Sweden has very little. As does Novgorod. I think we declare now, actually, because I don't want Novgorod to take crap. Because they, I want a lot of these northern lands, like here, 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 just in general, and it just won't do for them to have those. So why don't we pull the guy off Kiev, who isn't really doing anything, and... Um... Okay, what do you have? 
Uh, take home, you say. Which is there, namely their capital. Yeah. Moscow has fallen anyway. We can afford to let things just tick and just in general make life... Okay, you're sieging. Ah, uh, maybe that wasn't a good idea. Okay, we'll uh, hurt, them, hurt them this time, and yeah, we lost our progress anyway. Yeah. The Ottomans, again. Oh, you fuckers. With Norway. My, isn't that great. Okay. So we are at war with those. Okay, something I want is, of course, my course here. Of course, the fact that my actual vassals aren't swarming around taking care of all the little details is essentially kind of bad. Because it does make things harder. Still, we will manage. Ah, oh, great. Ignore them. Okay. So I could resiege the things I want. Up here. Like, say, Olnet, Stikwin, Kargopol, Arhangelsk, and Kolmongeri. Those are the ones I would probably want if I had a free choice. They make for a nice little set in the north. Maybe Ustyug, Volgdor, Belozero, some of those. Maybe one, maybe two, maybe all. Okay, why don't we do just that? Why don't we resiege these for our own use? Right? And why don't we ignore our Hangel scheme and take these five instead? Or these six? No, these five. Because they're closer. Because I want to f just wrap this war up and uh, head for the killing of the coalition. Uh, papal influence and loyalty for the clergy, you say. Sure, why not? 633. Wow. Suddenly I have all the luck. How old is he? 35. Jeez, he'll last for a while too. Crap, I'm actually getting good leaders for some reason. It's scary. Yes, I am taking all of your things. You are boned. I'm fighting for calm in theory, but probably not gonna take it. Okay, he's sieging Novgorod. Isn't that precious? Gather up some troops. And very soon we're just gonna piece Muscovy out. This will give us power projection as well, incidentally. Because we will get a fair amount of... I should... We should get some anyway for taking provinces from Muscovy. So, I would want all the crappy ones. Wow! Does that piss people off or what? And that does give us, like, aggressive expansion or extension. Fuck it! This is mine! Crusade, bitch! Crusade. For the true faith and all that. Let's kill Novgorod. Let's kill Novgorod some more. Okay, next we will be swooping westwards to deal with Poland's army. Okay, they're sieging the war goal. That is not great, but we will make it work. Well... Yeah, I don't really care about these. There's gonna be a revolt in there anyway, but after the revolt, I want there to be peace once that wears off. Why not? Oh, because Novgorod has cores on it. Well, that's perfect. Start on that then. Is that, like, really developed or something? 
This must be a little bit. Well, in the meantime, we can convert the fuck out of these because we have the uh, counter reformation. Who would have thunk? And Poland is just building more and more troops. Jesus. Okay, Novgorod will probably die a bit there. Yeah, I know, it's like... It's like, whenever I start thinking that everything is going just right, the game just... screws with me to remind that it can be cruel, right? It's like... It's trying to be very kind, like an ab abusive spouse that's trying to suck up to you. It's really throwing me. You know? It really, really is. So, is anyone else among you guys upset? What about you? Could we... Could demand military support? I think I'll demand military support. Thank you. Three points is three points. At the very least, it's something I can... Uh, use for... Uh, good shit. Like manpower. Manpower is always good. Oh, look, I can technically take attack. Oh, it's the uh, admin one. Don't really need that. I will be needing my cores, though, dude. Psst. Yeah, I'm actually gonna have to probably siege most of Poland for that. Oh, look, Sweden is murdering Norway. How much do I care about that? I probably care a bit. I probably do actually care a bit. I could go for essentially fully occupying all of the uh, people involved. What's the naval balance, incidentally? Oh, I should have the advantage, so... Let's bring these down to this area. And I did get up to... S get like 30... Well, like 40 points of power projection from uh, the uh, axe murder I did on Moscow, so that's good. Okay, excellent. And for once, before Poland had a chance to actually, you know, swoop. And by soup, I mean, of course, swoop down on a fort and pick it up in their uh, wicked beak and fly off with it. Bastards. Seriously. Bastards, bastards, bastards is the term. Die. Hello! Say hi to my space marines. Yes, fucker. Not a stack wipe, but the more than 50% loss for them, for a couple thousand of mercs on my end, I'd say that that is a good, good enough deal. And... Murder, 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 murder. So, uh, what would it take for you to get, come into the war? Does not want any land? Since when do you not want Polish land? Let's incidentally improve with you. Well, that's mildly inconvenient. That could actually be dangerous, since I think he actually wanted this fight. Which is why we're gonna retreat to Memel, just to be safe. Really? Poland? You're gonna try that? I'm thinking that I should siege down all of Vilnius, or all of Lithuania, all that remains to them. That is probably what I want to do. Um, I'll take the devotion, thank you. I don't care about any galas or such crap. Wait! The Polish have left their uh, army vulnerable where I can see it. Time to die. How are we on our force limit and the like? Hmm, quite a ways away from it, actually. Could afford to raise a lot more troops, puff myself up, be scarier. I honestly don't want to, though, because... Uh, well... Hmm, yeah, that would cost money. 
and I'm not sure that I'm in a position where I could really employ those effectively anyway. I mean, maybe, but not that much. And you're sieging Stolp, because why? Why would you want Stolp of all places? I think Muscovy or someone... Oh yeah, Muscovy took... Wait, what the fuck is going on? Wait, what? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? That was... That was the clergy fucking being unhappy, wasn't it? Just cause fuck me, right? God damn it. I didn't even read that, I just clicked on through it. I'm blaming it on the clergy, because they're assholes. Oh look, I can convert some more crap. That is... perfect. Anyone really, like really high on that? No? Whoa. Sweet. Nifty. I don't want to steal Cardinals, I don't really care enough. Besieging forces, they're really going to town, aren't they? Okay. Okay. I... Crap, I would need to walk all the way around, wouldn't I? Okay, the war goal isn't gonna tick for either of us. So it comes down to occupations and battles. So let's go and siege the Polish capital. If we full occupy Poland, that will be a lot of crap, essentially. How's our force limit? Could we face Sweden without... Hmm, yeah, probably not. But what we could build is ships, actually. I have six. Why don't we build up to, say... Uh... How many troops do I have? Okay, 16 transports. Why don't we build up to 16 transports and then we'll have enough space left over for, you know, actual warships that will be able to sort of make things work. And then we can use those to swing across the Baltic and just move to Scandinavia a lot faster than, than we're able to normally. Marching up here and taking Ladoga would help as well, but... Norway's kind of getting wrecked there. Have they colonized a single thing yet? Are they able to colonize a single thing? Colonial range, they can recruit explorers. They might have been exploring, because they do have an admiral or explorer of some kind. I don't want to go looking for the ledger to find the world leaders thing, so... Yeah. Uh, okay, why don't we split the recording here and we will continue right away.